Hey, and good evening to all my brothers and sisters in King Shur Hamashiach. This is going to be, um, I guess, the first night after Father's three messages. This will be the first night of going back to the two messages, to his two messages. And if you hear anything in the background, it's our AC. Yes, we have our air conditioner going, and it's still supposed to be winter time. But um, the signs of spring are all around us here in eastern North Carolina. See all the buds on the trees and um, the flowers blooming. It's very pretty. Spring is almost sprung here. So, anyway. Um, I was reading John this morning, and I was reading about, well, I was um, in chapter 10, the dialogue at the top of my Bible says, I am the good shepherd, and then it says, I am the door, and this is talking about King Yeshua, um, Lord Jesus Christ. He is the only door to our Father. And so I'm going to read um, 1 through 18, chapter 10. Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that entereth not by the door into the sheepfold, but climbeth up some other way, the same is a thief and a robber. But he that entereth in by the door is a shepherd of the sheep. To him the porter openeth, and the sheep hear his voice. And he calleth his own sheep by name, and leadeth them out. And when he putteth forth his own sheep, he goeth before them, and the sheep follow him, for they know his voice. And a stranger will they not follow, but will flee from him, for they know not the voice of strangers. This parable spake Jesus unto them, but they understood not what things they were which he spake unto them. Verily, verily, I say unto you, I am the door of the sheep. All that ever came before me are thieves and robbers. The sheep did not hear them. I am the door. By me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved, and shall go in and out, and find pasture. The thief cometh not, but for to steal, and to kill, and to destroy. I am come, that they might have life, and that they might have it more abundantly. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd giveth his life for the sheep. But he that is an hireling, and not the shepherd, whose own the sheep are not, seeth the wolf coming, and leaveth the sheep, and fleeth, and the wolf catcheth them, and scattereth the sheep. The hireling fleeth, because he is an hireling, and careth not for the sheep. I am the good shepherd, and know my sheep, and am known of mine. As the Father knoweth me, even so know I the Father, and I lay down my life for the sheep. And other sheep I have, which are not of this fold, them also I must bring, and they shall hear my voice, and there shall be one fold and one shepherd. Therefore doth my Father love me, because I lay down my life, that I might take it again. No man taketh it from me, but I lay it down of myself. I have power to lay it down, and I have power to take it again. This commandment have I received of my Father. Now this is... um. 
very powerful because it says that King Yeshua, Lord Jesus Christ, is our good shepherd and that he gives his life for the sheep and we his faithful are his sheep amen thank you father for letting me be part of king yeshua's sheep and to be part of your flock thank you so much and it also says he was saying that no man taketh his life from him but he lays it down of himself and he says I have power to lay it down and I have power to take it again this commandment have I received of my Father. Our King Yeshua was obedient to his Father, to his death, to his willing death, and he still is. To this day, he is, and he always will be, and he always has been. Amen to our wonderful, glorious King Yeshua, our King who laid down his life for us, his sheep, and we follow no one else but him. We will flee from everything else, but we will follow our Good Shepherd, even to our death if that is what we are called to do and um, I want to say if you do not know our blessed King Yeshua the Savior of the world the one who I am talking about in his Gospels it's it's John there's Matthew Luke there, there's Matthew Mark Luke and John if you want if you want to find out more about our great Shepherd but also if you want to know how to be saved God Almighty tells you in his scriptures which is straight from God which is King Yeshua in the flesh Romans chapter 10 verses 9 and 10 you must confess King Yeshua with your mouth and you must believe in thine heart that father raised him from the dead you must do those two things and thou shalt be saved and once you belong to King Yeshua no one can pluck you from his hand or the Father's hand because he and the Father are one and I just happen to be on that scripture right now it's John chapter 10 same chapter I was just reading but a little further down and we'll go with 27 through 30 my sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me and I give unto them eternal life and they shall never perish neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand my father which gave them me is greater than all and no man is able to pluck them out of my father's hand I and my father are one and that is scripture that I mention uh, all the time in John 
So please, if you do not know our perfect Savior, he died for you. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. King Yeshua died for you, and he loves you. And it does not matter who you are or what you've done in the past. It does not matter. He will meet you right where you are. And he knows your sincerity, for he knows your heart. And he will come to you right where you're at. For you can't do anything yourself. You cannot change yourself. And without King Yeshua, our Savior, you have no hope in this world. He is our blessed hope. So please reach out to King Yeshua. He extends his arms to anyone who will come to him. For he loves all of his creation. And he created everything and everyone. And there is nothing that's been created that he has not created. Amen. And hallelujah. Hallelujah to our mighty King, King Yeshua HaMashiach. And if you have strayed away, as most of us have, I had strayed away for a very long time. And there's different degrees of straying away. I can't tell you what degree my straying away was. But I know that I strayed. He would bring me back. I would get hot for the Lord, and then I would go stray again and then he would bring me back but you, you no one can pluck you out of his hands because he will continuously bring you back until you are finally surrendered fully and completely to him and fully and completely in love with him and when you're in love with God wow there's nothing better than that there is nothing better than being with God Almighty, living here in King Yeshua, here on earth, and, wow, getting to be with our God in heaven. <laughs> there can just be nothing better than that. Amen and hallelujah. Okay, so I also want to mention... Um, the second message, and for those who have already read the messages, you'll know what I'm referring to. The second message that Father gave me is um, was hard for me. I had to pray much on this one, and um, but King Yeshua also gave me more revelation. Um, a, a, a little bit ago and he said that while he was here on earth you can read it all throughout the scriptures through his gospels that he was standing right in front of people the Pharisees, the scribes, the Sadducees um, people who did not believe in him God was standing right in front of them and they did not know him. They did not know him. And so he gave me revelation of that for the second message. Um, every eye shall see him, but not every eye shall believe. So with that, I'm going to say hallelujah, amen, and oh how I love my God, my glorious God. 
Let us praise our wonderful and mighty God. Let's lift up our holy hands and give him the praise, the glory, the honor that he so deserves and is worthy of. Our holy God of glory, grace, mercy, and truth, and love, I come to you, to your wonderful throne of grace and truth through your beautiful King, Yeshua HaMashiach your glorious Son. I come to you and I bow down to you to your glorious majesty and I surrender all to you Father. I surrender my whole life everything that's in me everything that's in my life I surrender all to you I love you so much I love you so much you are my everything you are my life You are my very heart. I start my days thinking of you and I end my days thinking of you. And I think of you all the times in between. I pray that you bring me closer and closer and closer to your perfect son, Father. For I know we can never get close enough to him. He's so wonderful, so loving, so amazing, so true. He understands everything that I go through. And he knows it before I go through it. He knows all things. For he is God Almighty. You are the blessed triune God. God the Father. God the Son. And God the Holy Spirit. And you are the living God. And you are the one and only true God. There is none other. And King Yeshua is the only way, life, and truth. No one can come to the Father except by Him. He is the only door, the only way, the only path. He is the only way to you, Father. There is no other religion, no other anything but King Yeshua HaMashiach, your glorious Son who died for the world, who died for the world's sins. He is the only way to get to you. He is the only way to have eternal life with God Almighty. To be in your heavenlies. He is the only way. And he gives us life and life more abundantly. How I love my King. I love you, my beautiful King Yeshua. You are my very heart. 
and my soul cleaves to you. Every moment. And people just don't know what they're missing when they don't know you, my glorious King. I pray that so many souls bow before you and accept you, my glorious King. I pray that not many people at all will take the horrible mark of the beast. I pray that not many people will be deceived and believe lying wonders in all deceptiveness. I pray that they believe on you, King Yeshua. I love you so much. I love you, my glorious God, Jehovah almighty for you are my life and I thank you father for the life you have given me in your son and with your Ruach HaKodesh and with you and King Yeshua's holy mighty and perfect name Amen and amen. All right. Sorry about that. That's just my glasses on the keyboard that I take off as I worship. So let me begin with Father's first message. And yes, this is going to be the same as I've been doing the past few nights. Um, King Yeshua wants me to put both messages on one video. Okay, I received this word from Father God Yahweh at 2.01 p.m. And I'm so used to reading it from my writing pad, I've actually typed this one up. So hold on a second. I received this word from Father God Yahweh at 2.01 p.m on 10 March 2016 and that was today please take this word into prayer Joel 2 26 and 27 and ye shall eat in plenty and be satisfied and praise the name of the Lord your God that hath dealt wondrously with you and my people shall never be ashamed and ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel and that I am the Lord your God and none else and my people shall never be ashamed I received this word from Father God Yahweh at 201 p.m. on 10 March 2016 sorry I just repeated myself <laughs> all right my dearest and most beloved daughter of mine own heart and my son's heart write Papa's message for all to hear see and enjoy a new dawning is about to emerge on the scene. Children of the Most High, your time has come. Watch, 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 Father's skies. You shall be completely overwhelmed at what is coming. You shall know exactly what Father is referring to. For I tell you, my flock, things that will come to pass, and you will have no clear understanding until it occurs. I tell you that things are never going to be the same again here on earth. My son's glory shall outshine the darkness, and you, my flock, are going to be the ones shining my son's light. My son gave my daughter a vision where he lifted her up into the air, and below, uh, and below her was complete darkness running through the ground and above the ground. When he put her back down, the darkness was still there, but it stood still and the demons screamed at running away from my daughter. 
This is how it is going to be, my beautiful ones. You shall be endued with power, with my power from on high. This is the same power that I gave the apostles that received all of my spiritual gifts. The demons will know that you walk in my son and that he has given you all authority to release my children from bondages, from chains that had them bound up, some since birth. All shall be drawn to you for the love, the pure love that they will see in you. I will control who I send you to and who comes to you, my bride. Stay in prayer with me continually now, continually, my saints. The closer you are to my son, the more you will hear him, whether he speaks to you audibly or in another mighty way. Papa Yahweh, given his saints more instructions, has spoken. Okay, so that's Father's first word, and here's his second word. Please take this word into prayer. Hold on just a second. All right, Revelation 3.10. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. I received this word from Father God Yahweh at 9.10 p.m. on 10 March 2016. That's today. Daughter of my holy and forever Jerusalem, receive my words as I have given to you directly from my throne room with my spoon. Sons and daughters of the Most High, it is time for Father to release more of my mysterious revelations. Ask my Ruach HaKodesh to lead you to all understanding. Jesus Christ, my holy and only begotten Son, will be seen, and every eye shall behold him, not only when he comes the second time, but when I send him for his awaiting bride. All will know who took their spouses and parents and other family members. All will know my saints. There is nothing. Well, there's Coco. He says hi to everybody. All will know who took their spouses and parents and other family members. All will know my saints. There is nothing that won't be revealed. Father will not, Father will not tell you how long they will see him in the clouds meeting you, his bride in the air. Okay, Coco. I know, Daddy just went out the door. You're okay. Sorry about the interruption. Um, Father will not tell you how long they will see him in the clouds meeting you, his bride, in the air. This is directly in my word but has been continuously misconstrued because my children do not consult me as they read my word. My saints, the world will be completely deceived by Satan and his minions, for he will deceptively say that my son was an alien come from a distant planet, and the world is going to believe his lying and deceiving ways and persuasions. Every eye will see but not every eye will believe. It is so important to be in my holy word, my saints. My people are and will continue to be destroyed from lack of knowledge. Beware of wolves in sheep's clothing, my saints. They are going to be running rampant now and will be increasing their onslaught against my flock. Be strong in my son and know who you are in him. Call out to him, and he will come to you in miraculous ways. Father God Yahweh Elohim, taking my flock to many truths now, has spoken. And I'll leave you with the ironic blessing. This is Numbers chapter 6, verses 22 to 27. 
And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto Aaron and unto his sons, saying, On this wise ye shall bless the children of Israel, saying unto them, The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. And they shall put my name upon the children of Israel, and I will bless them. I also want to mention um, 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verses 4 and 5, Ephesians chapter 6, verses 11 to 17. It's dealing with applying your spiritual armor of God so you may resist the wiles of the devil. And it's also dealing with in 2 Corinthians, capturing your every thought and bring it to the obedience of King Yeshua and to cast down all imaginations that exalt their self against God in the mighty name of King Yeshua HaMashiach. So with that, I will close. I pray for blessings for every one of you and your families. I pray that Father will guard your hearts and your minds and give you his peace. In the mighty name of King Yeshua HaMashiach, Baruch HaShem Adonai, blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen and Shalom.